from Scrawly Straw against Berry. Today, the team were given two days off to prepare for their hectic schedule next week, with, I suspect, Ken Beamish working out a new formula to score goals. Well, Swindon's best chances came in the second half, with one a spirited solo run from Alan Mays that found the woodwork. Moments later, substitute Andy Rowland came on for Hopper Day and missed a glorious chance of scoring against his old club when he fired wide from about 12 yards out. Mind you, Swindon didn't have it all their own way. There is Wayne Entwistle, a former England youth international, could only murmur words of disappointment as his shot, on the turn, whistled past Scott Endersby. And to show how things can, on some afternoons, simply not work out, came late in the game. It was a glorious build-up by Swindon on the right, with one-touch football, found Lee Barnard in the area, trying on three occasions to get the ball across the centre of the box. There he goes but foiled on each attempt. You get that feeling some days things just aren't going to work out. Final score, a nil-nil draw. Well, I suspect Swindon Town must still be grimacing every time they read or hear on television that their former striker, Howard Pritchard, is knocking in goals all over the place for arch-rivals Bristol City. He moved to City in the summer on a free transfer and since then has moved his wandering winger style is really effective in the fourth division.